So we, we have sister airport agreement with Beijing, with Bangkok, with Singapore, and with Nagoya in Japan. But we always thought we need to have, uh, to, to broaden the scope uh, to Africa. Because in the end, as far as aviation is concerned, Africa is not, not really on the world map yet, except South Africa, but the whole, the whole continent. And uh, I do already know AXA for a very long time. Um, and I was always um, impressed by what they have achieved. They have one, the one thing in which they are much better than we are, for example, in engagement in other countries. Um, so a lot of similarities, and um, AXA also had become, by Skytrax, uh, uh, the number one airport in Africa, uh, Joburg. 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 Um, same with Munich in Europe, so there was a lot of similarities. And uh, for us, uh, Africa is the, 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 the coming continent, and we thought it would be a natural development of our engagement in airports. Um, to make this proposition to, uh, to AXA. One of the biggest benefits, uh, certainly for, from our side, is we get to send a group, depending on wh whatever program we decide to, to focus on. So if it's customer service, we would send a team of our customer service staff to team up with the customer service staff at Munich and spend some time there. Um, and as, as David said, it's really not just about technical exchange, but it's also about cultural exchange. So when the Munich team comes here, we will expose them to South African culture. Uh, but it's really just engaging, um, not only on the technical side, but providing broader exposure for our staff. Um, so it does involve sending teams to and from each of the airports. And we've got nine, and they've got one, so ours is going to be quite of a difficult challenge to select from the nine, nine airports. But we've already identified some areas in the agreement that we want to focus in on. Mm -hmm.